Hey, it is game time. How you doing? Motivational moment by Dave Major. All right. The best life. You want the best life? Here's the best life. If a life of regret is a miserable existence, the best kind of life is to live life with purpose. Um, I want to tell you something. This is our motivational part. And next will come our spiritual part. But where purpose is not known, and this is something that's so dear to my heart. Not only is it a great saying, my son at 16 came home from youth group and said, Dad, you'll love the saying. And I loved it ever since. I started it out every seminar for 30 some years. It, where purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. Let me say that again. Where purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. When you're living on purpose, like going downstream, Miles Monroe, him and his wife were tragically killed a couple years ago. He's from uh, the Bahamas, and he would fly and do conventions, pastor. Um, and uh, great, great, great book about purpose. And that stuck with me. Physically, if you don't have a purpose, you abuse yourself. Mentally, if you don't have a purpose, you have stinking thinking. Physically, if you don't have a purpose, uh, I mean, spiritually, you'll have uh, no integrity, no ethics, and nowhere of God in your life. So our hearts, um, here's, here's the thing. When we want to pursue something worthwhile, we need to be on purpose. So when I'm looking at purpose, it's so important. It's the why. No why, no comply. You have a purpose. And um, if you don't have your position statement, or if you have, some of you have your position statement. Like, I'm a, hi, I'm Dr. Smith. I help sick people get well and keep them well. Hi, I'm Dr. Smith. I'm a family. Uh, I'm, a, not, I'm a family. Uh, I help families from infants to elderly experience optimum uh, health and well-being. So when I say, and I've gotten a couple jobs, I got a big job with um, uh, Phillips Lighting by saying, hi, I uh, inspire, uh, when, I, when I say I inspire the person to impact the profession or their life, and they're like, you go around inspiring people? And I'm like, yep. I said, then only if they take it <laughs> do they get inspired. So let's move on to the spiritual really quick. Basically, let's keep it real simple. It says, we know while we're here, it makes a whole lot life of life simpler. It's a possibility if we focus and effective and have joy and act accordingly because we have the love of God in our heart and we serve him. He's, you know, so basically Paul said, let's fix our minds. We need to take, we need our purpose fixed firmly in our minds and we need to pursue it with everything in us everything in us everything in us you need to know that where purpose is not known abuse is inevitable you have a purpose mentally physically spiritually professionally let's let's know it because where purpose is not known abuse is inevitable and sometimes your purpose changes a little bit but you need to get up and remember i, I get up every morning i go i am a lonely sinner unworthy of god's love an empty woolen vessel washed by my Savior's blood. Created for a purpose, today I will commit a journey of a service. I'll never, ever quit. I will daily honor God in every thought, word, and deed. I will lead my precious family. This is my written creed. My soul and spirit I will keep so healthy and so fit. So as a tender warrior, I'm ready to commit. I will give my utmost always to reach his highest every day. So I may impact life for his kingdom along life's way. I, I, oh my gosh. Every day. I will I will fill my cup. I'm so I'm so sorry, I'm getting emotional. I start with him, I armor up. I just I need every day to armor up because we're in a battle. But guess what? We serve the victory, the victor. So be a victor today in Christ and change some lives. Take care. Armor up to stand up, to speak up, to show up, boom, to blow it up. And uh love and appreciate it. If anybody wants that poem, I'll send it to you. Bye-bye.